In this lecture, you will learn how to merge two sorted singly linked lists. Let's take an example of two linked lists which are in sorted order. We have list 1 with 3 nodes 1, 3 and 4, list 2 with 3 more nodes with 2, 7 and 9. Now both of these lists are in sorted order. Now when we merge these two lists, this is how we want our final output to look like. We have a final list which is a result of both these lists and the result is in sorted order as well. So you could pause this video here, try giving an attempt at arriving at the logic yourself and then come back to this video. Alright, let's continue. So we will make use of a new list which will be the result when we merge list 1 and list 2. So how do we merge list 1 and list 2? We start traversing both these lists in parallel. So we start from the head node of both the lists and then we check which among these two nodes have the lesser data. Here we see that the list 1 has lesser data where 1 is less than 2. So we bring down 1 into our new list. So our merged list now looks like this with the data 1 in this list. Now once we bring down 1, we advance this node in list 1 to the next node. Next we repeat the same process. But this time we see that the node in list 2 is lesser than the value in node in list 1 which is 2 is less than 3. So this time we bring down 2 into a merged list and then we establish a connection from the next of 1 to 2. Now that we have brought down 2, we advance the node in list 2. So list 2 now has the data with node 7. Now on repeating the process, we see that the node with data 3 in list 1 is lesser. So we bring down 3 into our merged list, we establish a connection from next of 2 to 3. Now that 3 has been brought down, we advance this to the next node which is 4. Now on comparing 4 and 7, we see that 4 is lesser so we bring down 4. Once we bring down 4, we establish a connection from the next of 3 to 4. And since we have brought down 4, we advance to the next node which is none and that's the end of list 1. Now that the list 1 has come to an end, list 2 has nothing to compare itself with and the remaining nodes of list 2 are already in sorted order. So now all that we need to do is bring down these nodes as it is into our merged list. And once we have brought them down, from the next of 4 we establish a connection to the node with the data 7 and that completes the merging of list 1 and list 2. I have created a file called mergelist.py which imports node and link list and here we create two lists as seen in the previous lecture. The first list has the values 1, 3 and 4. The second list has the values 2, 7 and 9. Let's print these two lists and see what our output looks like. So that's python3 if you are on Mac or Linux and py if you are on Windows space the file name which is mergelist.py. So as you can see we have two sorted lists, first list with the output 1, 3, 4 and second list with the output 2, 7, 9. We want to merge these two lists such that our final result is in sorted order as well. Let's get started. We will make use of a new list. Let's call this merged list. Now this will be a linked list as well. And this list will contain the result of merging our first list and second list. So let's print this list, merged list dot print list. Now initially this list is empty. So on executing this program, we see that our list is initially empty. So now let's write a new function. Let me call this function as merge lists. And to this we pass our first list, our second list and the final merged list. So this is the function which will merge list 1 and list 2 in sorted order and put the result in our merged list. So let's write this function. Let's define merge lists which accepts first list, second list and merged list. So we will make use of two temporary nodes. Let me call the first one as current first, which will be used to traverse the first list. So this starts from the head node of our first list. Similarly, we will have another node called current second, which will start from the second list's head node. Now let's start traversal. So we have a while loop which runs infinitely. And within this loop, we check if the current first's data is less than current second's data. So this is how our list initially looks like. We have our first list with the data 1, 3 and 4. And we have our second list with the data 2, 7 and 9. 
So we need to check if our current first, which is initially at this node with the data one, so that's your current first dot data, is less than your current second dot data. Now, if your current first dot data is less than the current second dot data, then this means this is the smaller value and that needs to be added to our merge list. So let's add it to our merge list. So we call the insert end method in our merge list. So that would be merge list dot insert end. And we pass our first node, which is current first. Now, initially our merge list was empty with type none. So now that we insert our first node into our merge list, it's being inserted and it will also have the pointers. So one points to three and so on. But when we insert a new node into a merge list, we don't want these pointers. We want it to be of type none. So before we insert current first into a merge list, we first need to set its next to none. So your current first dot next is set to none and then it is being added to your merge list. So now the next of your one will point to none. So now that this particular node has been added to a merge list, our first list needs to advance. But then now that we have set this to none, we cannot advance to the next node. So before we set that to none, let's make a copy of it in a temporary node. Let me call this one current first next, which will initially have the value current first dot next. So we are preserving a copy of it and then setting it to none. So now when your current node advances, it just needs to point to your current first next. So in the next iteration, your current first will point to three. So this time you check if three is less than two. We see that three is not less than two, which means this time it is this node which needs to be inserted into the merge list. So let's perform these similar operations, but this time with our second list. So it's your current second next, which we make a copy of. That's your current second dot next. So once we make a copy, we set our current seconds next to none and then we insert it to the end of our merge list. So that's your merge list dot insert end. And this time we pass the current second. And once that node has been inserted, our current second needs to advance. So that's your current second will be this particular node which we had earlier saved. So now our current first is in three and our current second is now at seven. In the next iteration, we check if three is less than seven. Now, since three is less than seven, this time three is being added to the merge list. But before that, from the previous iteration, we have two and none. And this time it will be three, which is being added. And then this list points to none. And then we advance the first list. So when we advance the first list, we check if four is less than seven. Now, since four is less than seven, we add four to this list. And now we see that our first list is empty. When our first list is empty, the second list just needs to go into the merged list. So that's the condition at which we need to break this loop at. So we check if our current first is none. Now, if your current first is none, we insert these nodes to the end of the merged list. So we insert merged list dot insert end. Your second list is now at seven. So we just pass your current second. And then we break this loop. Similarly, if your second list was none, that would be your current second, which is none. In that case, we add the first list to the merge list. So that's your merge list dot insert end. We pass the current first. And then we break this loop and that completes the program. So we have our first list as none. So because of which our second list is being inserted into the merge list. So your four will now point to seven and the rest of the pointers will continue and the last node will point to none. So that's the end of our merge list. So now that we have called this function called merge list, this merges list one and list two into the merge list. And after this, we can delete our first list and we can also delete our second list. So now let's print our merge list and see if it works as expected. So let me have a statement that says printing merge list. So now let's save this program and go back to our terminal and execute it. So this time you see that we have the output as one, two, three, four, seven, and nine. So that's the output of your list one plus list two, which has been merged in sorted order. Thank you.